Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this dish known as Herbal Paper Wrap Chicken or Zi Bao Zi. So what we have over here, ingredients are pretty simple. Um, I have with me one chicken over here. Um, this is approximately about 600 to 700 grams. It's a small chicken, a spring chicken actually. Uh, why I'm choosing a spring chicken? Because the taste can actually goes in easier. Okay, and it's slightly more tender than those uh, bigger ones. Um, I have over here two tablespoons of uh, Chinese cooking wine, two and a half uh, tablespoon of uh, oyster sauce, one tablespoon of uh, dark soya sauce, some pepper. I have with me also uh, some angelica roots which I've actually uh, grounded. So about seven pieces of uh, this uh, tang kui or angelica roots, two pieces of uh, red dates which I've actually taken out the seeds, two pieces of this uh, sun yao or mountain yam, approximately about eight pieces of this uh, yu zhu, and about one and a half to two tablespoons of this uh, wolf berry. Uh, with me over here also uh, one and a half cup of water, and I have some uh, cornstarch celery over here. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to make the sauce and we're going to use the sauce to marinate the chicken. In goes the water, oyster sauce, Chinese cooking wine, and dark soya sauce. Now when you're cooking this, um, you can actually taste, try to taste whether it's salty enough or not um, and adjust accordingly because uh, various different brands of oyster sauce give you a different level of uh, saltiness. I'm just going to use uh, approximately about one teaspoon of this uh, powder over here. If you were to use more, yes, it can give you a, a, a stronger herbal taste but then um, it will turn bitter also, so I think one teaspoon is just nice. A dash of pepper. Let's just cook this over the stove. So we'll boil this uh, solution itself. Okay, um, we'll be using this to marinate the chicken in a while. Uh, let's just boil this and then we'll thicken it up with the cornstarch. Uh, but we have to wait for this to cool before we actually marinate it into the chicken. So let's just uh, boil this first. Right, now that this, um, the gravy is actually boiling, okay, what we do is we'll add in the cornstarch in. Um, I'm, I will have to estimate this itself, but the solution that I'm putting in over here is actually um, two and a half teaspoon to five teaspoon of water. So it's about one to two to, yeah. So I just add it in slowly, just a little bit by itself. When we have achieved the consistent that we want, which is that it easily actually coats the spoon like what you see over here, then it's done. Okay, so let's just put this to rest and let it cool down before we marinate it in the chicken. Now that the sauce has uh, actually cooled down, it's time to marinate the chicken. We put the chicken breast up, okay, fill it with the sauce. And point two tablespoons of uh, two scoops of this. Cover this with a proper number two scoops. The rest of the sauce don't throw it away. Um, after baking the chicken, we can actually pour it over to have more sauce. Actually, by the meantime, I'm just going to rub the sauce all over the chicken. So all the marinade in, well cooked. Okay, we're gonna put all the herbs inside also. Right, the each will go inside the cavity of the chicken as well as the dates. For tapu, you can actually uh, spread some on top at the side and one or two pieces inside also. The sanya or mountain yam, you can actually just stop it inside the cavity also. Just spread the gong chi to all over it all around. Okay. So, we're going to wrap this now. What you do is, for the first piece of paper, just do it this way up first. I'm going to leave this in the fridge for approximately 2 hours for all the marinade to sit in. After that, before roasting this in the oven, I will take it out and uh, let it go down to room temperature for approximately half an hour. Okay, I've heated the oven at 150 degrees. 
So I'm going to bake this chicken inside here for approximately one and a half hour at 150. Well, one and a half hour is up, so it's time to take it out. Be very careful when you take this off the oven because it's going to be very hot. I'm going to transfer this into a plastic plate so it's much easier for me to handle. So I've heated up the extra sauce just now and I'm going to just pour it over the chicken. This gravy over rice will be fantastic. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen. My version of the herbal paper wrapped chicken. I hope you enjoyed our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.